I'm the worst cowboy that ever, ever played this game. Welcome back, everybody, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are picking up right where we left off. It's only been a couple of minutes since I left you guys in the last episode, and uh, we are continuing to live stream this today, too, and so I will occasionally address the chat, um, but we are we have removed the overlay and the alerts and all that sort of thing. So, uh, like I said, it's only been a couple of minutes since I left you in the last episode, and we're going to continue working on these debt collection uh, quests, and so the... Uh, the next place we got to go is th these two are like right next to each other. So we're, we're just kind of working our way uh, down across uh, the river here. And then we're going to just head sort of kind of cross country this way to get up that direction. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And let's see if we can get through this episode without murdering an innocent person. I don't know, man. That's kind of a kind of a tall tale for this game. It's uh, very difficult. It seems to be very difficult to... To be a, a real good guy in this game, uh, I'm sure it's possible, and maybe sometime in the future, um, I will play it uh, again and try and and try and actually be a good guy. But I don't know; it's really hard to do. But we're just gonna play the game, and you know, come what may, um, Arthur's not the kind of guy that's inherently evil, but <laughs> he does he does have his moments, though. You know, so we're not even going in the right direction. We need we need to turn around and go this way. So yeah, we'll just uh, we'll see what happens here, right? Okay, something is hell. going on over here. Shit. Hey, this here's a private financial matter, so why don't you keep right along? A private financial matter? Um. Not looking to interfere with any sensitive financial matters. I'll leave you to it. Those guys are trying to open hey, up the safe. Said to scram. Um. So okay, so let's think about this for a second, okay? <laughs> we got two guys out in the boonies with a sledgehammer trying to open a safe, and they're being rude to me and telling me to go. And so, what are the chances that these guys are not up to no good? Damn it. I don't think the chances are very good at all. So remember, I said <laughs> I said when we started this episode, we weren't going to shoot any innocent people. Didn't say anything about bad guys. Okay, so just get off my case, you guys. <laughs> um, wait, what are you doing, Arthur? No, I don't. I don't want the bow. For Pete's sake. Okay, let's go see what's going on over here. Well, let's see if this safe is worth the effort. We don't have any witnesses anywhere, do we? <laughs> okay, let's loot this guy first. Yeah, we don't need a worn cattleman revolver. Uh, so let's pick him up and get him out of the way. Yep, we didn't say anything about killing ba bad people, guys. We're just trying. We're gonna try not to murder innocent people. I can pick up the handguns, but I have to. I have to exchange them for my current gun. I can't pick them up and keep my current gun, which kind of sucks because I wish we could loot stuff like that and then go sell it to make money. You know what I mean? That's not the way the game works, unfortunately. See, and not only that, but they're worn revolvers, so they're not as good as what I currently have anyway. All right, can I pick this sledge up? And Arthur said something about seeing what's in the safe, but... Uh, okay, hold on a sec. It's not letting me interact with it. I'm 
Do I just shoot the safe? Oh, you need TNT. Uh, you mean like this kind of TNT? I've never used TNT in this game. How do you, how do you, you <laughs> we better get our horse. We better get our horse out of here. We're going to blow him up. Yeah. You come over here. Easy, easy. All right, you stay here, boy. Don't, yeah, don't blow yourself or your horse up. That's very good advice. That's probably the best advice I've heard all day. So, the, yeah, the sledgehammer and everything disappeared. All right, so uh, TNT. I don't think they covered that in the tutorial. <laughs> How to use it. Uh, so let's pull it out. No, not that key. It's Oh, it's seven, right? It's chain. It's the lasso key. So, <coughs> do I throw it? Um, uh, what did I just do? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, so the left mouse button... We'll put it on the ground, or in this case, on the safe. The right mouse button lights it in my hand, uh, apparently for me to throw it. Now, can I move that horse out of the way? I don't want to hurt the horse. Okay, hold on. Did, do I have an option to cut him free? Okay. And then Go on, boy. Scoop boy. Get going, boy. What? He doesn't want to go anywhere. Go on now. Come on, there you go. Okay, he's he's at a safe distance now. Let's try this again. Oh, shit. Hey, we found we found a use for our dynamite. <laughs> it blew the crap out of the wagon, too. All right, what do we got here? A billfold. Twenty dollars. That's not bad. Another twenty dollars. All right. So, almost as lucrative as bounty hunting. Cool. Okay. You don't want. You want to know what the the good thing about all this is too. We don't have anything else in this slot. So every time I hit the seven key, now it's actually going to bring out the lasso. I think. Until the next time we get dynamite. However, that being said, I'm pretty sure we're going to come across more safes like this. And we're probably going to want more dynamite. So we probably better get some more <laughs> at some point. Okay. Boy. You guys realize at the rate that we're going, it's going to take me probably six months to complete this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. It's just too, much, too many fun things to do. Uh, okay, so can we go down through this straw safely? Yeah, it looks like we can. Yeah, we got $40 out of that. Maybe that'll pay off our bounty. I don't know. Someone's coming in a stagecoach or something down that way. Is 
is this a new uh, herb here? No, it doesn't look like it. The size of this world is just amazing. The place is huge. That's interesting. That guy's sitting on a blue barrel and he's holding a rifle. I wonder what's in the barrel. We're going to get ourselves in trouble again if we try and find out. We need to get across the river. Um, it looks like there's probably a ford right there. Yep. Howdy, partner. Howdy, pronghorn. Um, you're a brave pronghorn. Goodness. Yep. Let's just go off this way for a second. I have a feeling like this railroad trestle pillar here is a place where we might be able to find something hidden. That a coyote? Easy. Howdy. A lot of ugly business here. I hope you weren't talking about me. But you, you're absolutely right about that. There was some ugly business going down yesterday. Uh, I don't know if we want to go down there because we might not be able to get back up. Uh, at least not in this general vicinity. Uh, I don't see anything, though, here. So, all right, well, let's just keep going then. It's kind of neat to see, you know, how the landscape changes, too, because we've pretty much just been in, like, a more of a forested environment, but it looks like it opens up into a different, you know, type of place down here. All right, where are we at? We are right here. So we're going to... We've already been to Flatneck Station. There's a stables here, so let's just kind of follow this path here. Uh, I'm going to put a new marker there. How do we get rid of this? Just right, Do we right-click it? or Oh, Z, remove marker. Okay. What does this mean? There's an X right here. Uh, it's a corpse. Okay, let's go investigate the corpse. That's what you do in games like this, is you investigate corpses when you find them. Yep. I did... No, here, we need to Z mark it. Add marker. Oh, no, we need to waypoint it. Uh, nah, I don't think we need to go along. Oh! Mm, phew. I thought he was going to fall off of that. Ah. Okay, let's uh we got crabs and, and vultures. Look at this you guys. Chewing tobacco. Shotgun shells. Money clip. We can't take any more tobacco because we already have enough of it. Um, do we need it? Yeah, we need some dead eye. So let's let's take one of these chewing tobaccos now, and then we can loot this this one. That's it. There's some horseshoes and some rope. Couple other things in there, but I guess not things we can loot. Is there anything we can loot on this guy? Whoa, 
I thought you was already gone. Tell oh. Her. I never stop. Lost letter to Bonnie. Um. It doesn't give us a read option. It says, Dear Miss McFarlane. Oh, Bonnie McFarlane? We know her. I'm sorry. It's something. Man, I can't read that. You're right. Da, 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 da. Usually it gives you an option to read, but it's not doing that. So what if we do this? Last letter to Bonnie. A lost love letter found on a washed up corpse. Now we'll now we can read it. Okay. Did I just hit the wrong button? There we go. Okay. Dear Miss McFarland, I'm sorry. I said it. I'm sorry. You're right. I do let things get out of control in my head. I always have. I see I see that, but I love you. We are meant to be together. It's our destiny. I know it is. I saw us in a dream raising kids. You were very happy as my wife, and I was proud to be your husband. Dreams don't lie, and neither do I. I'm heading off to make my fortune, and when I come back a rich man, you'll see what a fine husband I will make you, and a father to our children. And no, I won't grow up. On that subject, you're wrong. Uh, I've got so many things to say to you, I'm going to continue with the writing of this letter later, but believe me when I say we are destined for a long, happy life together. Even your father will come to believe it and accept me, no matter how humble my birth. Yeah, good luck on that one. We know about Bonnie's father. He's actually a good man, but I don't think he's going to go for this. Okay, interesting. Anything on the other side? Ah, there's more. Um, oh, no, never mind. I guess there isn't more. Hmm. I wonder if this will become useful to us later on. Okay, there's a couple more things we can check over here, I think. Hit the wrong button. A silver pocket watch. Okay, we'll take that. Some gin. And I guess that's all we can take out of there. All right, that was interesting. Unexpected for sure. Are those uh, coyotes that we got out there? Let's take a look-see. Yep, they sure look like yodis to me. California Valley Coyote. Um, yeah, we'll take a quick look at this. California uh, Valley Coyote can be found across New Austin, West Elizabeth, Lemoyne, and New Hanover. Their diet is primarily carnivorous, yada, 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 yada. A coyote fang can be sold to traders. Okay, so that's what we would do with a California coyote if we caught one. Let's go. Come on, Fraggles. Anything, any other, like, mysterious X's on the map anywhere? What do you mean, um, by see, uh, by see the stars? Wyoming, I don't, I don't understand. S see what stars? What do you mean? What you talking about, Mank? Is this um is this red outline mean that I'm wanted in this county or that I have a bounty in that county? I'll bet you that's what that means. Cuz that wasn't there before. So at least while we're in New Hanover, we're still still okay. When you look at the animals with the binocs. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Here, let, here, let's do that again, then. The problem is, is I don't have a weapon on me that's going to be good for shooting coyotes. 
I, the bow might be okay, but it's that's a long shot for a bow. Oh, okay. I see where the stars are. They're down in the lower left-hand corner right next to their name. So that coyote's actually a really good specimen right there. That one's only a one star. And that one's a two star. Oh, man, that's good to know. I'm glad you pointed that out to me because I didn't notice that. Um, We could try and kill that thing with a bow, I guess. We'd have to get a little closer. But... Does the bow preserve the pelt or, n or not? Because I, I think we need a varmint rifle for that, don't we? Okay, but doesn't doesn't rarity also translate into... Am I hearing gunfire? Doesn't rarity also translate into um, more value? I would think. Okay, let's try something here. I want to make sure... Okay, so that one's the two star. The three stars in the middle... Oh, <laughs> he's taking a dump. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Okay, so that's the three star there. Okay, so let's do this. Um... Oh, hell, I don't know who's who again. That is a really long shot from here anyway. Um, oh, we got a new journal entry. I, I wish we could put the binoculars on the... on the wheel. What I'm what I'm trying to do is kill the other two off, and then we can go in closer to hit the the three star with the bow. But they keep, you know, mixing themselves up, so I don't know. I don't really know which one is which. Okay, that's a one star. The two star. So currently, I think the three star is the one that's in the front to the right. See now they're moving again. Okay, so we know that that one's the two-star. Okay, let's see if we can um, take him out. That is such such a long shot, though. Okay, let's see where these other ones go. They're not really running that far away. Did they go in the water? No, they're, they're right there. Okay. Easy now. Let's get a little bit closer here. Yeah, it's good. It's gonna take me six months to complete this game. There's just no doubt about it. That's all there is to it. We're all just gonna to have to accept it. There's just too too many too many opportunities to squirrel here. Okay, so um, oh, the guy in the canoe scared him off. Well, that's gonna make it harder to find him.
someone else shooting at him now? Kind of sounds that way, doesn't it? What is that? Oh, it's a bird. It's a vulture. ourselves in trouble here but these are our driscoll's robbing something they can't even see me is he no driscoll um Did we get him? Yeah, we sure did. All right. Well, um, I hope everybody I shot was an O'Driscoll. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know for sure. Yeah, this is an O'Driscoll. Okay. See, so I, I came over here thinking that we had some folks shooting at them, them coyotes, but that's not what was going on here. Open snake oil. You know, we might actually want to take that in case uh, we need to do more snake oil stuff. Open snake oil. Polar Restorer's dead eye. We need, we need more dead eye, like normal dead eye, not the core dead eye. What do we have that will restore the core? See, I don't think any of these tonics restore core. I think they just restore the normal, like, bar. Um, but I think we have food that will restore core. So slightly restores health core, stamina core, moderately restores dead eye core. Yeah, let's take some of that. That gave us a little more than half dead eye core. Okay, so this is... Um, Bottle restores dead eye core. Slightly restores stamina and dead eye core. Okay, let's drink the gin because it's already open. Are we going to get, like, drunk now? No, we seem to be okay. All right, here. Let's go loot these guys before they disappear. Okay, that's an O'Driscoll. What did we get? It didn't tell us what we got. Uh, that was weird. Okay. Here's a law, man. We're just going to pretend like the O'Driscoll shot him. We didn't do it. Wasn't our fault. Okay, we got some repeater cartridges. You picked up an open item. Open items provide half the benefits. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. And this is also an O'Driscoll. So there was one lawman, unless there's... Oh, is there a guy behind, underneath the wagon? I think there is. Anybody looking? <laughs> Whatever we take from him, he ain't going to need it anymore, so... There you go. That's how I justify it. Now we got, we got a, a pretty decent amount of um, ammunition off him. A little bit of money. Kentucky bourbon. A little JD there. Okay, can we pick up this rifle? I don't think it's not giving us the option to exchange it, so I guess not. All right. Now, what if we jumped on this horse and went and sold him at the stables? I think we'd make... Don't we make like... um? Oh, we can search the saddlebag. Oh, <laughs> Did it again. 
You doggone horse. Ow. Nice horse. He's yeah. <laughs> Here. Be easy. You're okay. Ah, just a scratch. There. Are we friends now? After you kick my teeth in? Note to self, the next time you loot a horse's saddlebag, make sure you calm him down first. Okay, so, this this poor horse is dirty as all get out. You can temporarily store one un, unbonded horse by hitching it in camp. So here's the thing. We are... Oh man, we... <laughs> we haven't gotten very far. Oh my goodness, too much stuff to do. Um, there's a stable here. We could just ride straight to that stable and not get sidetracked by anything. Yeah, right. That's going to happen. Um, and try and sell this, make a little more money. And then I think will Freckles just follow us. What happens to Freckles if we, if we take off on this horse? Uh, no, not right now, Dan. Um, let me, uh, let me try and discover that on my own. But thanks for asking though, bud. Appreciate it. Loot and leave before someone comes. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. We need to go get that coyote hide, don't we, that's on the little spit here. Here's the question. If I take off on this horse and ride straight to the stable to sell it, does, Freck does Freckles either follow us or does he just magically end up at the stables? What happens in that situation? Because I haven't ever done that before. What say you all? This hoss is dirty. Good job. It spawns to me. Okay. I kind of figured maybe that was the case. Easy there. Howdy, partner. I didn't do anything. I saw nothing. He said girl, so we must be on a mare. All right. Um, is there anything in that wagon we could look at? Doesn't appear to be. Yeah. So let's try and go to the... Um... Oh, are those... Those are wild horses, you guys. Look at that white horse. Beautiful. They're going right out by where the coyote pelt is too. Oh, they're in the water. <laughs> what just happened there? Oh man. That was bad. That's <laughs> that was bad. That was really bad. Um, that black horse is like way out there now. Here, let's uh wait. I can't tell because of the lighting. Is that the black one out there? There's a deer in the water too. All right, you know what? We just we need to practice, man. We are just terrible at this. It's okay. You stop and call. Wait, what did I... Huh? It wouldn't let me calm it. it. It was grayed out. What did I do wrong? All right, let's try this again. We just got to practice. Even if we don't actually take the horse anywhere, we got to practice. Okay, here we go. Worst cowboy that ever ever played this game. <laughs> okay. 
I don't, I don't know what to say. I just, I don't know what, I have no words, you guys. <laughs> Other than to say that we need to practice. Okay, oh, uh, 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 uh. go, go, go. So we have to wait for it to turn red. Okay, so we got him. Now call. Whoa now. Hey, you're okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Take the horse to learn information. Call the horse to get his attention. Alright. Um This is a thoroughbred. Thoroughbreds are race horses. Uh, yeah, no kidding. This thing was fast. Identifiable by their lean legs. Identifiable by their lean legs, athletic build, and deep chest. Uh, the blood bay and the dapple gray are found in the wild, while the brindle coat is purchasable. A unique seal brown coat is also discoverable. The breed is famous for speed and agility, though can be clumsy if pushed too far. Their good stamina and acceleration make them perfect for racing short distances. Yeah, they got pretty good speed there. An uncommon brindle coat can be purchased from a stable. All right, so, um... Don't worry. Oh, I lost him. Okay. Come on. Yep. I think I'd, I'd, I must have let go of their mouse button or something. Nope, other way. So I, okay. So calm, calm, calm. Easy, boy. Easy. What happened? You? How did I lose him? I had my finger on the butt, the mouse button the whole time. You can rest by holding E. Your cars will not drain while resting. Oh, I guess I'm a little wiped out. I mean, <laughs> we took a header over a horse like what twice in a row there. Oh shit. Okay. Well, we'll just keep working at it. Um, Chief, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it, bud. Uh, everything is gated behind levels, so the horses you find in the game at the start are garbage. Don't even bother. Okay, well, I get that, but we need to practice, though. Uh, I mean, if that isn't obvious, I don't know what is. So, here, let's try it again. Well, no, here, we need we need to get some stamina back, first of all. We're kind of weak right at the moment. Holy restores health and... Fortify slightly, fully restore stamina, and fortify slightly. Yeah, we'll take some of that. Let's get something to eat for the core. Restore stamina core and dead eye core. Well, we don't. Yeah, we could use a little bit of dead eye core. Okay, so that that horse is still over there. Rope the prairie goat? Yep. Let's try this again. This poor horse is going you again. Gotta wait for it to turn red. Corresponding achieved. I can't quite catch him. We're gonna run out of horse stamina here. Oh, Got it. Shut up! I'm trying to rope a horse. I don't care what your problem is right now. If I help you, I'm probably gonna get myself in trouble anyway. There we go. Okay, so we got him. <laughs> This is not working. This is not working at all. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go get this horse. I mean, this isn't even our horse. We're in some deep water. Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. So all that stamina we regained, it just went down the toilet again. <laughs> and then some.
Yeah, I don't think roping one in the water is a good idea either. I, I completely agree with you. Well, I, we, we're, we're like tuckered out. I think we're just going to set up camp. If we do that, are we going to lose this horse and where will our other one come back? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. But let me tell me in the comments, you guys. You roped the horse, right? Whoops. What am I doing? Here, this. I roped the horse, right? So, I mean, we did that part. And then I was holding the right mouse button to hang on to it and pressing G to calm. But. Oh, I got both of them. Oh, nice. Um, but you know, but then the horse would like break free or something. So I'm not sure. I I think part of it was probably just because we were in the water. So maybe that was it. But anyway, it was just weird. It's a little bit weird. Okay, what do we have to cook? Coffee. We need coffee for stamina. Let's make some coffee. Speaking of coffee, I'm having some myself. Hey, if you guys are interested, by the way, we'll take this moment for a quick public service announcement. I hope those doggone coyotes don't come over here and try and aid us. Uh, if you guys are interested uh, in an old guy coffee cup, um, there's a link down in the in the description of the video, and you can uh, click on that and go to my store. Or if you're in the Discord, um, there's an old guy store channel, and you uh, I'm selling coffee cups and old guy t-shirts. So if you're interested... Um, Stop by and check it out. Okay, let's drink our coffee. You have already you already have a what? Okay. Um, and then we're going to You know when I looked at Arthur's stats, it said he was a little skinny. So I guess we're not eating enough. Okay, time to sleep. I don't think we need to set up our tent. I don't know why we would need to unless the weather was bad or something. Yeah, stop on by, Dan, and, and grab yourself a coffee cup, bud. I'd appreciate it. And you'll enjoy it because this is a damn fine coffee cup, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, man, maybe we should have slept in the tent. Dang. Okay, let's tear our camp down. Not the best weather to wake up to in the morning, is it? Okay, well, at least we're rested up. So, I think what we need to do is ride this horse. I'll, I'll practice roping horses again when we're not near water. We'll do it some other time. Right now, let's just take this horse and we'll, we can at least sell this one. Is this coyote pelt still good or is it going to be ruined by now? So It's interesting that he calls this horse a girl, you know, being it as how it's a mare, and he always calls Freckles boy. Dead eye has increased. Your dead eye bar has increased. Trick shots, hunting, crafting, and other survivalist related activities will Oh! Really? Oh, we need to do more hunting and skinning then if that's what increases, because our dead eye sucks, man. We, do, we need to get that up. Uh, we already know about the, the coyote compendium thing. Okay, let's, um, while I'm thinking about it, let's do one of these. Okay. Come on, Freckles. Let's go. Uh, let's get off this spit. Man, this weather sucks. Don't shoot. What do you mean, don't shoot? Now what's going on? Help me, please, for the love of God. I can't see what's going on. Mister, help! Hey, shut up. Get out of here. 
here. Christ! <laughs> oh shit! Okay, here, here. Let's get this out. Uh, where's the other bad guy? I don't know where he is. Well, let's shoot this one anyway. There he is. Oh, we saved him. Just say, it's about time we did thanks, something good. I guess you've done me a service. Hey, look, the stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want. Hey, you happen to have any dynamite on you? It's already stolen. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, all right. We did a good deed and we're getting a reward for it. An, un an unexpected reward. He said it was a lockbox, not a safe, so hopefully we can open it with our, you know, Arthur typically opens lockboxes like he just pries it open with his knife, I've seen. Man, I wish we could, like, take all of these horses back and sell them. So this poor feller didn't make it. Can we loot him? No. This weather sucks. Uh, no, we already have a cattleman revolver, so no point in exchanging for it. You know what, though? I would rather have my revolver than my shotgun. I guess it doesn't matter. I can't change it till I'm on the horse anyway. All right, how do we get to this lockbox here? Oh, okay, it says need lock breaker. Oh, man, all right. I guess we're not getting our reward tonight after all. Oh, later on you can sell coaches like that. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The Witcher called every horse Roach. He sure did. Roach was a good horse, too. Okay. Can we, like, get on track here now and quit screwing around? My goodness. Uh, except for our dead eyes all screwed up again. Um, we're trying to get... we got to get to the stables here. That is a long ways to go for an old guy to not get distracted. A very long ways to go. We need more dead eyes, so... Let's, um... Take some chewing tobacco. And then let's look in our provisions. Slightly stores all cores. Yeah, we'll take some of that. And slightly restores. Uh, that's stringing me. 13 of 13. Yeah, we better eat some of that because it's taking up space. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go. We must have slept until night, not morning. Come on, Freckles, let's go. We got places to go, people to see, and shoot, and rob, and loot. Those are just deer, I guess, or pronghorns or something. So this is the place where the Reverend was, and we learned how to play poker. Or I should say it unlocked poker for us. Uh, so we really don't want to go that... Here, let's do this. There we go. Now we'll actually have a path to follow. Oh, how's, how's about we uh, save again, too? Because... I don't want to, you know, I don't want to save scum necessarily, but with our bad luck we've been having with losing progress, I don't, I want to be a little more on the conservative side too, so. Okay, let's go. 
So Varg, you, you think we'll get like ten bucks for this horse? Ten dollars? Is that what you were saying in the Discord the other day? Something like that? Okay. Oh my goodness, look at that lightning. Yeah. So the country sure certainly opens up over this way, doesn't it? Your horse is stamina. Okay, let's slow her down. Oh shit, no time for this. Here, get out of the way. I'm not looking for trouble if you ain't. It really opens up out here. Okay, let's slow down and let the horse uh, get some stand back here. Sprackle's following us. Your main horse is out of whistling range. While out of range, it will be shown as you must get closer. Okay. Well, I think you guys said it'll spawn to me when we get to the stables anyway, so... Let's not worry about that for now. Continue to bond with your horse and increase the range in which it can be called. Okay. Nice. So when you, when you go sell a horse, you ride the new one with no saddle and have the saddled horse follow. Oh, is this where the lightning struck? Holy crap, look at that. Easy, easy. That is nuts. Is, wait, is that is that what happened there or is that just a fire? This must be a place where everyone's been plinking. I can't tell if that's a fireplace or if that's where the lightning struck. Examine the tree, he says. When I hold down the right mouse button, it doesn't do anything specific. It's just... looking for let's get back a little bit I'm not seeing anything. Sometimes you find weird stuff and you can just examine it. Oh, okay. Might be an Easter egg. I, you know, this is kind of the general vicinity that we saw that first lightning bolt. Remember when I said, hey, look at that lightning. So I thought maybe this is where it had struck. That's probably just like a, a fire pit. This weather is nasty. Yeah. This is neat, though, because we're uncovering new territory. Ooh, look, there's some horses. Uh... Okay, so let's try this again. And let's see if we can keep from, like, flipping over the top of it this time. Uh, we're going to go after the yeah. white horse. I don't want to chase him downhill. There we go. Okay, here we 
we go, here we go. We got this. All right, you know what? Let's just take this one. Okay, G to calm. I'm holding the right mouse button down. Take it easy. Did we... Did, what? What just happened? It, he just let go of it. I did not let go of the mouse button. <clears throat> I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Was I supposed to slowly move closer to him while I was doing all that? Calm. Come on Move closer. Calm. Move closer. Calm. Move closer. Calm. Calm. Let's try that again. No, no, easy. It's okay. Did I get him? Okay now. Hey now. Just stay calm now. Okay, that's better. Oh, hold S and use A and D to steer in the opposite direction of the Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. So what I need to do is lasso him. Or actually, I probably don't need the last one here. <sighs> okay. Now. Easy, boy. Okay, so hold S. Oh, oh! You know, I screwed myself up by putting the S key uh, that was used to be the control key because I can't put my fingers in the right position. Um, God damn it. All right, we're going to have to put that back the way it was because I... That doesn't work for my fingers. I don't know how I would be able to to do that. Well, I might be able to do it if I use my middle finger to hold S and then... Okay, let's try it one more time. Because I, I like the S key for slowing the horse down just, you know, under normal circumstances. All right, where did he go? Is he, like, long gone now? Okay, there's more horses off that way. Yep. That's all it is. Just come on. Okay. Come here. Arthur's going to run out of stamina. Uh, okay. Let's get something to eat here. 
Restores uh, health core and moderate resource damage. That's not the point, though, my friend. It's one of those things where we got to do it for the principle, not for the value of it. Okay, well, let's go up over the the hill here. Does the weather affect Arthur's stamina? That looks kind of like the the first horse that we tried to to do. Spook door, stop and call me before yeah. approaching. Okay. So, um. Oh, man, he's going to go, like, all the way down there where he's going to be hard to get to. All right, well, we'll try it again later. Let's just go. Yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it because, just because. <laughs> because we can uh, not because it's may maybe the best thing in the world to do in the game. So let's get back on our trail here. So the weather the weather doesn't affect his uh, stamina. Okay. You'd think it would, you know, when he's like cold and wet and everything. Kind of sucks that we have such bad weather because. I can't really see the countryside very well. Okay, let's slow down let the horse uh, get some stamina back. Let's take a look at the map, too, by the way. All right, we're getting close. So this is the heartlands that we were in. Just about there, folks. Looks like the weather's maybe clearing up a little bit. I don't know. Let's get the horse some uh, stuff here. Uh, so, items, horse. Oh, you know what? We don't have any of the stuff because it's on our. Yeah, it's on our other horse. Okay. We're just going to have to be careful not to overdo it. But we're getting pretty close. Dewberry Creek. We'll just kind of... Uh-oh. Got something going on over here. What's the matter with you? Oh, Christ. Please help me. What's with the hollers? Um... You hurt? I got bit. Oh, God. Like snake bite? Oh, I need medicine. Or a siphon. Here. I ain't giving you a siphon, oh. but I'll give you some medicine. Oh. Medicine? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Oh. You saved my life. I owe you. We ran into... Yeah, right. Well, we, we ran into this other event before. We probably now just I, lost the progress on it. I gotta get out of here. But it was in a different location. You gonna be all right, partner? Looks like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Okay. Yeah. 
Almost there, guys. Almost there. Hey, Siri, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. No, not you, Siri. Stupid phone. <laughs> um, thank you for the raid, Siri. Really appreciate that. Um, I, I have my alerts turned off because we're recording a YouTube episode, so that's why I didn't hear it. But uh, welcome, you guys. Good to see you. Um, how are you doing, Siri? It's pretty late at night for you, isn't it, by now? We're playing some Red Dead Redemption here. Doing some bad things, doing some good things. So it all kind of balances out, I guess. I've been kicked in the face by a horse a couple of times now, and I kind of deserved it. And, yeah, we got some lightning going on. Okay, let's see if uh, we can get in here and sell this horse off. We stole this, I mean, we borrowed this, I, actually, how did we get this horse? I think we shot up a bunch of guys and took it. They were, most of them were bad guys. There was one good guy in there. If you lose your saddle, it will be retrieved when entering the stables. Okay. Oh, no, no problem. No problem. I really appreciate the raid. You get yourself in bed and get some sleep. 1 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty early. Uh, but thank you so much. It's good to see you. Uh, all right. So let's see. Buy, manage own horses. Let's look at this. So we st still have Tennessee Walker. I thought we sold, well, we did sell Tennessee, but then we lost some progress. So uh, Tennessee, you're a fine looking horse. You got us through the mountains. We really appreciate it. But um, I think we're gonna have to sell you, buddy. That's a good okay, so ah, we sold well. him. How do we sell this other horse that we're on? Do we have to like ride him into the stables? Ooh, look at that big boy. Here, come here. Do we ride him in or lead him in or how does this work? Let's see. There we go. Okay, now he's going in with us, so we should be able to own him, right? So we can sell him. Oh, he's a Tennessee Walker as well. Or she. Two dollars and forty cents, really? That's all I'm gonna get for all the trouble we went to with this horse. Okay. Oh, it. All right, that's all we can do. That's all we can do. Um. All right. So. Freckles. Let's, uh, no, we're not going to sell you stable cell upgrade. Let's see what upgrade options there are for you. Equipment. No, actually, let's go services. Horse care package is $5. What does this do? Fully restores all horse cores and yields gold cores. Okay. No, there's nothing worse. Than Good night, Siri. Coming in here. Thank you. Thank you again. It ain't right. Yeah, I know. I know you told me, Dan, but again, that is not the point, my friend. That is not the point. We got to learn how to rope horses because we're cowboys. And besides, Vark said I'd get ten dollars. Uh, well, he's for a wild horse, not necessarily for that horse. Um, horse care. You know what the hell? Let's do it. Keep the horses happy, right? Yep. Okay. Should we rename Freckles? I don't think we should. I mean, I think we should, but I don't think we're going to because, I mean, that's just kind of Freckles' name. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep it freckles even though it makes no sense to call him freckles Because he doesn't actually have freckles um, Saddle bags upgraded saddle bags increase your outfit mask and hat storage on your horse Saddles higher quality saddles improve your horse's stamina core and health core drain rate while providing your stamina region increase higher quality stirrups increase your horse's speed and acceleration and provide a stamina drain reduction uh, oh, yeah. Slimline stirrup. So we we currently have the deep roper stirrup on. This bell stirrup's pretty nice. Stuff's pretty expensive, isn't it? 
Drain rate, 40%. Okay, these aren't as good as what we have, so we should be we need to be looking at this stuff down here. Oxbow is a less uh, thirty percent less drain rate. That's thirty five percent. Um, they only gave me like two dollars and forty cents or something for that horse, but that wasn't a wild horse though either. So Tapaderos stirrup, hooded stirrup. That's thirty-six dollars, but it's fifty percent less drain rate. Uh, you know what? Let's let's not do that yet, only because I've got a bounty that I'm gonna have to pay off at some point, and I want to make sure that I have enough money to do so. Uh, so we're just gonna leave Freckles the way he is right now. Okay. So we made it to the stables finally, and now what we have to do is work our way north to collect money from these other two individuals for Leopold Strauss. However, we are out of time, uh, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here, and we'll pick up right where we left off, guys, in the next episode. Let's make sure that we can actually do that, though, by saving the game at this point. And we have used up all slots, so we're going to go back to this slot because this one is the autosave slot and overwrite that one. Did it just do it? I think it did, yeah. Okay. There we go. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and don't forget, we are going to be doing uh, live streams on YouTube on Saturday afternoons for Valheim. Uh, we had a great time yesterday and planning on having another great time next Saturday. So if you guys are around, uh, join up. It's going to be in the afternoon mountain time, so probably somewhere between 1 and 2 p.m. Uh, amount of time join up on the discord if you aren't already uh so that way you can uh keep track of when will st i'm stream next because i do all of my announcements and stuff there and it would be good to also chat with you on discord too and with that i'm gonna let you go have a good one we'll see you next time Bye bye